This video is about installing a TAC in an Ecotec Cavalier without using a TAC adapter. You have to use a TAC that supports two cylinder operation. Most TACs are four, six, or eight cylinder and that won't work without a TAC adapter. You have to step the signal down to two cylinder mode for that to work. This TAC that I like to run here is a JEGS has a shift light to the big tack. It is the 555-41263. Obviously it supports two cylinder operation. And to make that one work, there is a purple wire that comes from that tack. You connect that purple wire to the white wire on the ignition coil on the engine, which I will show you. You can see that white wire there. It's kind of cruddy looking because it's got some oil on it, but you get the point. So run a wire from that white wire on that coil to the purple wire on the tack. That's your signal wire. Don't cut the white wire going to the coil. It has to stay connected to the coil. You're basically just kind of piggybacking off of it. I'll strip back the insulation and then wrap some wire around it, solder it and tape it, and then run that wire out of the harness to my tack here. That's how I do it. My PCM is here, so I don't have to go very far to get that signal. Um, if you do plan on using this tack, there is two wires for illumination. There's an orange wire and then a white wire coming off of the tack. The white wire lights it up white, which I like. kind of matches my other gauges pretty good. You would hook up the orange wire if you like that amber color. I piggyback that white wire along with the red wire and put that on the switch with the gauges and then the blue wire for that tack you wire to a constant 12 volt supply so it doesn't lose its memory. When you get this tack it is all automatically set up for 8 cylinder mode and to change it to the mode you need it for an Ecotec Cavalier you have to hold this menu button, come on focus. There's a menu button on the tack. You hold it, you power the tack on, and then it'll stop at one particular number. It says one right now because that's for two cylinder operation. That's what you want it to be. It may be at four, I believe, right out of the box. So when you turn it on, hold that menu button. When you turn it on, set it down to one, hit the menu button one more time, it saves it. That's the correct setting for an Ecotec Cavalier. Let's see if this thing will start. That's pretty much that. Cliff notes, wire the purple wire from the tack to the white wire of the coil, and then follow the directions for the rest of them. Easy peasy. I much prefer using a TAC that supports two cylinder mode instead of using the TAC adapters because I've had a TAC adapter fail and when it does, it tends to make the car run like crap. You are supposed to splice a TAC adapter in line with the harness going to the coil and when they fail, it's not a good time. Sometimes it can be hard to diagnose why the car is running like crap. So food for thought on that. That's pretty much that.